Hey everyone, um, thank you for your patience and waiting for this next video. This is uh, floss tube number nine. Um, number eight was back in March. I've done some stitching since then. I've um, been really ill, so there's been a few weeks of no stitching, um, no boot camp either. But on that front, lost enough weight that my reading wing came off. That's a bit of a problem. Never mind. Okay, so. Um, I've got some finishes, I've got some FFOs, I've got some haul, I've got some progress, I've got um, a swap that I did on Instagram, um, which is terribly, terribly cute. And um, yeah, that's me, really, I guess. So, um, to start with, I guess, um, some progress. Let's, here we go. Okay, so for one of the swaps, um, the theme for the person was how to train your dragon. Sorry, this is just my clear book. It has all my loose stuff in it, including um, Cloud's Factory. There's, there you go, you can print them out. Um, so for this person, um, I made, let me go to my Stitch from Stash thing. I made them um, a bookmark from another chart I downloaded from Etsy, um, which was the Keep Calm and Train Your Dragon. Um, and then I used um, some of the images on here to make them a hoop and also a needle book because needle books they're practical and you can have something and you can take it with you and everything like that and I also made myself a hoop which is FFO, just some felt and some running stitch until I decide what I want to do with it I think Mace is going to fold this one so there we go um, Having done this process, I've learnt that I really don't actually like swaps. So the one that I'm doing right now, the person has the um, Disney theme. So again, I went to Cloud's Factory because they're cute and you can adapt them to stuff and everything like that. So I haven't FFO'd this hoop, but there you go. I've got RL, Belle and Cinderella. And hopefully there you can see some of the glitter. I changed out Ariel. From her, um, as you can see here, she's done the pink. Sorry, the glare's terrible. Um, I put beads in. Um, Cinderella's got some pearls. I'm a lady die. Um, and then there's a, a wee starfish charm on there that I've stolen from one of my Mill Hill kits just to um, try and shush it up a bit. Um, using that same one, I've also I have to FFO these. I've just glued them yesterday so I've got to cut them out and stick some magnets on the back so she'll be able to play with them on her fridge so um Lady Tremaine you know the ugly stepmother or wicked stepmother whatever you want to call her cinders there's no beads on these so they're safe they're safe um I adapted fairy grandmother just from the pictures and then we've got a very cash prince there's a couple of mistakes in him but you know yeah speed's done right um some other finishes that I had, um, I don't know if you remember, but I said I was going to use the seagull as a learning curve. Um, I'm going to change one of the um, Santas that has a booby. My said it's a booby. I have no idea, really, no idea. Booby means something else when you're down here. A little bit rude. Anyway, so I've used this one to look at the um, colours and everything like that. Um, so I can change them out because seagulls all over New Zealand, especially in the summer. So as you can see, I stole the star bead treasure from there and put it on the cinder. But he doesn't need it. He's got plenty of boom and everything like that. And again, just felt glued on the back, fabric glue, um, which I find is fine. Uh, I've got ornaments which I've used a similar glue for and they're probably about 15 years old and it's perfectly fine. So I'll just stick a magnet on the back. Done. Dusted. Easy. Uh, Christine, my postcard pal from Stitch from Stash, sent me a prairie schooler. So I did this one day when I was waiting for Brandon at refereeing. Um, very simple, very easy. Please note that I suck because I placed it in the wrong spot to be able to frame it. So I'm going to have to repeat it, which is cool. I'm going to change out orange for blue, I think. Um, and I'll use this one to practice one of Bonner's techniques so that I can have like a little oval hanging ornament. I think that'll be quite cool. 
for my swap, my favourite uh, Pixar character, or Jane Wick's character actually, was um, is Puss in Boots. So my person did me this, which I think is cute. I love the gingerbread man. I think he is so gorgeous in here. And then this is amazing because it's clever and I can't do this. Look at that. So she's quilted it. And all this is surface embroidery and paints. And she's painted the fabric for the different textures and everything like that. I think it's cool. Mace wants to flog this too. Like this goes with a Star Wars themed bedroom? I don't think so. So I'm not too sure what will happen. Um, she also sent me bunny rabbit cat bunny socks girlfriend wants those good luck to her and she found an old copy beautiful illustrations of the Puss in Boots story I really like this book I think, it's cool. I think the pictures are amazing and she sent me a card which she also pointed out is um, ironic that I have cat theme and she sent me a dog card but that's okay that's cool um progress um I also made some progress on uh my car kit this is one of the ones I use like when I'm waiting at doctor's appointments and things like that um so he's now um got a face got all of his coat and just about finished the letters I think there's like about two or three stitches in there so that one there might be a might be a May finish did I depends we're going away for a calf trip this weekend but I'm actually thinking of taking something else rather than him although I would get him finished it's quite tempting hmm weigh that one up I'll leave him out um for um March, oh no, it's going back on there, isn't it? Um, in Stitch Mania, it was Teresa Wentzler month. Um, this is my main Teresa Wentzler piece. It's a kit which I bought for myself in Christmas 2006. I know, I know, it really should be done by now. Like, it really should be done by now. I'm very grateful that I had the foresight to make working copies because, um, I don't know if you can see, I don't want to show you too much. Mm. You're not actually going to be able to pick up much of this chart at all, eh? But look at that, fold lines. They get blank on the fold lines, people. Always make at least two working copies if you're going to stash something for that long. Or scan the chart so you've always got a copy of it stashed away somewhere. Because you can always delete the file, you know? Or it's on the cloud, or it's on your tablet, or whatever. Don't share, people. Don't share. Anyway, so, my goal for the month was to work on that top border and get some more done because it's killing me and I'm th it really is it's putting me off so I did some of that um obviously as you can see I had some extra thread links I started doing some of the diagonals um I found lots of gaps so it was well worth it so like he is cool I really do like him but I've got to be in the mood to work on him I can't just pick him up either um so he's now got velcro so I can attach to my frame which is good, much better much better than stitching um, something that's this intricate in hand or um, and I hope that's my opinion anyway um, the round robin pieces arrived uh, this is Julie's um, her theme uh, is the Nora Corbett um, pixies this is huge and I'm not getting off the bed to go backwards so you can see everything get what you get people so i'm doing emmy in the middle and the reason i'm doing emmy is purely because my husband liked the colors that's it so that one is quite cute these are ones which i won't do we don't do halloween very much down here in new zealand so as you can see that's my one night start and i'm having to do this in hand because i'm too lazy to take persephone off my big frame still sitting there in the corner she's looking at me should have rolled her face up um anyway that might be one of those ones that i'm talking about in like 2030 i started this project back in 2014 and it was da 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 da, da. yeah 
it could well be like one of those projects. Um, I have an FO, and it is a big FO, and I am so pleased with that. So for April, once I'm looking at my planner here, sorry. So once I got my How to Train Your Dragon pieces done, rest your nose, um, my main goal was to get the stitching on Mermaids of the Deep Blue finished. Because I had the beads, most of the beads, I've actually ended up going shopping because I needed about two meters more Krennic. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I changed out some of the beads. And it's just personal preference and it's just because I changed the colour of the fabric. So I ended up finishing it. Which I'm so pleased. So I haven't ironed it yet because I haven't written my name on it and I haven't taken it off to the framers. The road where the framers is um, has an enormous amount of roadworks now and it's crap to drive down. And I didn't feel like taking 25 minutes to drive something that would normally take me two. Yes, it's that bad, people. So I haven't put my initials on it so I know that I can't take it to the framers yet. But I'm so pleased. They have so much bling in them. And this is with me cutting out some of the bling as well. So, because I think there is more than enough. And every time I look at it, I'm more and more and more in love with it. I am so pleased to have finished this one. So it's Mirabilia Mermaids of the Deep Blue. It is on 28 count Raglan Surf Blue from Country Stitch. Um, if you look on um, Catherine's website, which is countrystitch.com, I think, um, even though she's based here in Wellington in New Zealand, um, she has, she's brilliant in the way that she has the DMC equivalents next to the different types of fabric. Because of course you know that fabric dyes a different colour depending on what it is, whether it's linen or ada or lugana or another type of even weave. So you know what, you know what you're going to get, which is to me that's enormously important. And I have two FFOs and they are massive FFOs and this is only because I got my bonus so I could afford to get them framed. One of them is my very first Nora, um, which got me on this back into stitching and everything, and that's Santa Slay. And if you look on my Instagram, you'll see a picture. He is up on my wall at work, so I can look at him every day. Um, he'll come home for Christmas, of course, and then he'll just go back up there, or I'll swap him out for something and leave him at home. So, look at that. I'm so sorry, there's Blair, the grass. But I loved her. Um, she's on 32 count EF Sirens Flare, which when dyed ended up kind of like a 34 count. Um, it was a bit of a struggle to get some beads in, which is now why I do what is initially a 30, uh, 28 count, because it works out to be a 30. Um, obviously I've changed out these beads because they are teal in the original and teal on this fabric was going to be shite. Um, I also made the gold beads more gold than brassy because again they just didn't show and I wanted them to show. So this is uh, Mirabilia Stargazer. Done! Just yay! So yes, on the wall, up on the wall. Makes me feel so much better to be fair. It's really good. Um, haul. Haul wise, pretty small really. I got some more Krennic like I talked about because I needed about two whole meters. Um, and as Lisa has said, Krennic over here is very expensive. It's like $10 a roll, which is ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit gutted at that. But then I think, oh well, I'll use it up somehow. So that was the same shade as ended up in Ariel. Um... And I'll probably do another Mirror Mermaid at some point. My round robin is, which will come back hopefully at Christmas time. That's the faces of the Mirror Mermaids. And I'm just trying to work out from that if I will stitch any of them as big mermaids or if I'll fall to something else. Or, and I don't know if you saw this on Facebook, but linen threads, don't get me started about that woman because she's awful. Um, but they had a, um, they had Nora over last weekend. And this is her official design for it, which is a free download on linenandthreads.com.au. 
so I'm thinking I might convert her to, through to Crinex so that she really glistens and gleams because I think she was quite cool. So yeah, I'd love to see Nora, but um, yeah, I'm not putting any money linen and threads away, that's for sure. Not anymore. Um, haul, proper haul. Um, from Trade Me, I bought this one. It's a Mary Inglebright Santa kit. Comes with the Ada and the threads. I'll swap out the Ada for Even Weave. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure what I'll do with the Ada, whether Mace will get back into stitching and use it. But I like Mary Inglebright. I think it's quite cute. Maybe I'll put some beads on it. Oh, Mace is just walking in the door just as we're finishing. Um, Hello. You can come around, baby. So this is my Mason in his school uniform still. Mm, hint, subtle hint. You should be getting changed. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm very nearly done, baby. Okay. Okay. Do you need a video? Yes, I need a video. Okay. Okay. I get it. Right. Um, and so my other big present to myself was Andromeda, because I absolutely love the posture, the pose, the, the myth, everything like that. Um, so I bought got this one. Um, I think I'll change the lilacs, though, to maybe teals. I know I said when I was doing conversion of Persephone that I didn't really like the teals, but I kind of think the teals might work on this one here. Um, like Cassiopeia, who, who is mythologically her mother, um, there is glow-in-the-dark Krynek in the pattern and Mason. <laughs> and, will, and it will, um, when you turn out the lights, shall I lock them? When you turn out the lights, you'll see her constellation, which I think is quite cool. And there's obviously another greeny Krynek, which unfortunately was not the two meters I needed for the other one. Boo hoo. Um, bead pack. Oh, is it? So, yeah, I might have to change out the lilacs if I decide not to use the lilacs. Uh, to be fair, I haven't made myself a working copy. Haven't done a floss toss yet. So, this is again 28 Count Lagano. It is from Country Stitch and it's called Antarctic Storm and it's a got a little bit I haven't even opened it yet. It's got a little bit of a mottle. Not not a lot. I'm not a massive fan of, of huge mottles. So all it had to be was um it is the 19.7 by 15.7 inches so it's 50 centimeters by 40 centimeters. And I think she should look quite nice on there really. Put the photo out. Yeah, I think that should really look nice. So, after I finish Julie's Round Robin, that is the next big thing, isn't it, Mace? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's this? So, yeah. What's this anyone? one? That's the book, which I didn't show you because I didn't want you to flog it. It's gone now, people. Anyway, okay. I hope this video has found you well and that you've uh, enjoyed it. Um, yeah, take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.